A dramatic takedown of a serial vandal caught on camera Wednesday morning as frustrated residents in West Hollywood decided to take matters into their own hands. Put your hands behind your back. Julian O'Neill has lived in this quiet apartment complex on the corner of Fountain Avenue and Hacienda Place for 20 years. She says this recent crime spree started on Saturday, September 23rd. The first person had four tires slashed. Then two days later, another car has a tire slashed. The next day, they found this graffiti on a car that already had its tires slashed. Saturday morning, wake up, my car's had another tire slashed and orange spray paint on my car. After a week of crime, they realized it wasn't going to stop, so they installed cameras. He then was caught on tape two days in a row. Neighbors say they reported the crime to the sheriff's department and even showed them the video, but officers weren't much help. Neither was their apartment management company. That's when they got together and came up with their own plan. I'm staying up because he's coming back tonight and I have the window that faces the gate. And so literally, as soon as he came in, I texted call 911 to you know, a couple of the people in the building, and then my friend kind of ran out. The confrontation turned into a scuffle. Then the men were on the ground. O'Neill wasn't far behind. One by one, residents came down to help make a citizen's arrest. Well, there's now someone sitting on his legs, my friend sitting on his body and his arms. I'm going through his pockets. I pull out. It wasn't a box cutter, it was a big knife. Within a few minutes, sheriff's deputies arrived, taking over. There is that part of it, you know, where you go, this is dangerous. Like, what are we? There was a moment I go, what are we thinking? And those residents say they also used duct tape to restrain him while they waited for the sheriffs to show up. Now, the man taken into custody early this morning, 22-year-old Kevin Caagula, and he is still behind bars tonight. Smike and Cher, those tenants say if they had to do it all over again, they would.